Alright guys, Dan Giles here with Let's Fix It. One of today's projects is my wife has a cleaning business and in that business she uses her vacuum cleaners. Well, she chews them up pretty good over time, so we've got a roller bar that needs to be replaced on a vacuum. It keeps breaking belts. I figured I'd come out to the front porch. It's a beautiful day. Fall is in the air, the wind is blowing, the wind chimes are making noise. You'll hear those every once in a while. Kids are across the street bouncing a basketball, making a lot of racket. Doesn't really help much for video making, but hey, you know what? It's fall. It's beautiful weather. So if I'm going to be outside, it's okay for them to be outside too. So anyway, let me show you this vacuum cleaner. The old roller, for some reason the bearings on it got kind of messed up and it was breaking some belts. Went online, used the model number off of this, got the part number and ordered me one. I think it was about 20 bucks for a brush roller. Came in a new package, hadn't even taken it out of the bag yet. So I'll unpack this. One of the things you're gonna need is a screwdriver. I've got my trusty 11 in one Klein tool here. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Got the screws that hold the back plate on. Nope, that's not the new one, this is the old one. If you can see, the end of this roller is pretty chewed up. I think a, the bearing must have seized or something and in turning melted the inside and got it off balance so and it's not supposed to be making all that racket so it seized up that's why it was breaking belts for twenty dollars for a hundred and fifty dollar vacuum cleaner it's not a bad price to pay for a repair so let me unpack this new roller assembly we'll discard this one put it back together and then we can go on to the next project. That's a new roller brush assembly. It's going to turn really good. Doesn't make any noise when it's turning. That's going to do pretty good on this vacuum. This roller assembly, this is where your belt goes. All right, I went ahead and slipped this in place without putting a belt on here just to make sure that I'm lined up on this side and on the other side. And it works perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then slip it into the belt and now it's going to have a lot of tension on there so i'm going to have a long way to pull to show you what you got here on this end of the roller you have a keyway and you can see that it's oblong on the frame of the vacuum cleaner you've got a little opening right here that fits that so it'll slide down in here on this side of the roller is a round edge and that'll fit down into that slot we've got the belt on here and we're going to pull this into this slot we're going to line up the keyway on the other end of the roller and slip it all into place. Just like so. Alright, you turn it a couple times just to line up your belt with the motor shaft and this so that everything when you go to turn it on is in its proper place. And all we've got left now to do is put on the leveler and that's this piece here it's got an adjustment inside here you know for thick carpet low carpet things like that this is the plate that moves up and down that allows you to ride higher on lower carpets and it just slips into place just like that now when you turn this little knob on the front it jacks that up high for high pile carpet. Turn it the other way for low thin carpets. So that's in place. Now we have the bottom bracket. This is going to hold this roller in place. It'll kind of tack this a little bit in place so that it doesn't go anywhere. 
it's got a little keeper right here on it so you put that on here it doesn't allow it to go up any higher than so that that won't pop out so anyway we'll put this on line up our screw holes and everything is set there now we've got six screws There's two three four five and six up by the top by the top of the belt what I like to do is just go ahead and set the screws in the holes Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and drive those screws home. I won't bore you with watching all six screws get driven in so we'll skip forward to the to the end process. All right all our screws are tightened up secured in place. Now she's got a vacuum cleaner that will last her a little while longer. And that, my friends, is how you change out a brush roller and install a belt on a Bissell vacuum cleaner. This is a pretty good little vacuum cleaner. Little canister type. It's pretty dirty. But, you know, when you're in the cleaning business, things get dirty. And she does a lot of cleaning on a lot of dirty places. So, but she'll get good use out of that. Well, there you go. That's a $20 repair on a $150 minimum vacuum cleaner that uh, will save you $130 from having to go out and buy a new one. So I think it's well worth it. If you are interested in any other vacuum cleaner type repairs, I'm going to put a playlist right there. You'll see it right here. And you can just click on that and you can see some of the other vacuum repairs that I've done. And right above that, you know, right up here, there's a little circle. It's got my cute little picture in it. Be sure to click on that to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button below. And hey, if you don't want to miss anything else that I've done, make sure you hit that bell notification button right down there. And you'll be notified on the next video that pops up. Until next time, guys, this is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I'll see you soon.